I hope you can hear me. This is Joe from Joe's Tech Review. Uh, today I'm using uh, Microsoft uh, Video Screen Capture and I'm going to be doing another video on how to flash your W2 Mimi or Pador smartwatch. I did a, a video earlier and it wasn't as clear as I thought so I'm going to do another one with this process. First thing you're going to need will be your hardware. You will need your W2 smartwatch. You will then need or you may need MTK USB driver for the watch on your computer. You will also need Flash Tool. I use Flash Tool 5.132. And you will need the firmware. This firmware is the voice recognition firmware we will be uh, uploading to the smartwatch. Okay, first and foremost, uh, if you try this, I will have uh, assumed that you are tech savvy and you know the process. Uh, this video is for educational purposes only. If you choose to follow anything that I am explaining, please be aware that you are taking your device's well-being into your own hands. I will not be responsible for any damage or breaking of your W2 smart device. With that out the way, we will now go to our device manager to make sure our smartwatch is recognized by the computer. So go to your control panel If I could find it, where's my control panel? Go to your control panel. Go to your hardware and sound. And go to your device manager. Go to your disk drives. Okay, as you see, I don't, I do not have my phone plugged in, but when I do plug my phone in, this is what I find. MediaTek Flash Disk USB Device. Now, if you go to its properties, you can see that this driver is actually provided by Microsoft. So Microsoft may have your generic device driver already in its hardware, in its software on your computer. So you may not need to download my driver. With this being said, and you have a functioning connection with your watch and your computer, let's get to the flashing. What you want to do, you want to unpack each, uh, each um, software packet into its own folder.
this is the driver or the drivers and this is the flash tool I'm using flash tool version 5.132 we're going to open it up and prepare it for the flashing of the W2. Let's go to our options. In our options, you will see USB and format, FAT. You, these two will be checked. After you do that, you will click on the download agent. And in the download agent, you will look for MTK all-in-one underscore DA. You will click that. Now we will look for the scat file. The scat file is also in the folder and it will be pulled up and look like this YUANDA50 underscore 6464 underscore 11B underscore BB. You will click that. Now you will see check marks. Leave the check marks alone. These are your new um, W2 software items. We will go to read back. Go to read back. You may see a clean area there or a um, already loaded file. What you want to do, you want to delete that file, click Add File, and once you click the Add File, you're going to edit it. Double click on it, rename it, and put dot .bin, it has to be a bin file, put dot .bin at the end of it. Click Save. After you click save, you will come to the readback block and uh, have hex checked. Leave start address at zeros and the length you will edit. You will edit to this number 0x 0080000. You will leave it. Or let it look just like this. That's what you will do. After that's completed, you click OK. Now, let's do the the readback. The readback will be downloading your previous firmware of the phone and we just named it or you just named it with the dot bin at the end now it is copying it it has copied it into the flash tool file this is the ring of success your connection is good your upload or download was created and now you have backed up your system. We're going to go to memory test. We're going to do the same thing. Uh, click start. Unplug your phone. Your phone should be off. It shouldn't be on this process. Uh, then plug it back in. The ring of success, the green ring of success. You have the inner workings or inner memory items of your phone. You have a good connection. The flash noise is large enough. Now let's start to download. We have our download agent. We have our scat file. We have our updated firmware. 
All we have to do now is press download. Now press download. Unplug your phone once again in the off position. Unplug it. And reconnect. Now, this should not be touched. It, the computer should not turn off. Leave it and let it go through its function. Let it go through the process. Your phone is now being updated. So I'm going to leave it in real time so you can see how long the process is. But feel free to fast forward to the, uh, to where you get the green ring of success. I hope I've been clear in my instruction. If you are a novice and you wish to do this under your own free will, Please bear in mind that you can brick your phone due to inefficient firmware download or upload to your device. So be careful in how you flash your device. I hope this has been a pleasant video and a, a video that you can understand. The green ring of success. Now your phone, you can disconnect your um, watch and enjoy your new firmware update. From Mimi Technology, from Joe's Tech Review, I thank you for watching this video. Hope to see you at JTR real soon. Joe's Tech Review.